India versus South Africa. It's the battle of the giants. It's the battle of the rotating chart toppers. It's the battle of best batting lineup versus best bowling lineup. Some are already calling it the dress rehearsal of a World Cup final. So a lot to look forward to. And I think India's might will be tested uh, by South Africa. South Africa, when they bat up front, when they win the toss and bat first particularly, they are absolutely lethal and brutal. Uh, their bowling has come good as well. Uh, and so what should India do then if they win the toss? I'm sure that they want to drag South Africa in that defensive frame of mind and get them chasing because a couple of times, once against Pakistan and then that game against Netherlands, they felt absolutely nervous chasing a modest score. So it all depends on the conditions. Conditions at Eden Garden suggest that the ball will have something extra for the spinners. India's playing 11. I don't think India will tinker with their playing 11. South Africa, on the other hand, if the conditions of a spin can include uh, Tabrez Shamsi, who's a magician, left arm wrist spinner, and uh, he can do the job extremely well for South Africa. Now, there's another special occasion on that day. Virat Kohli will uh, celebrate his birthday and all the people in India, all over the world, and especially will gather there in good numbers at Eden Gardens, would be hoping that he's able to break Sachin Tendulkar's record or equal it, in fact, with 100, get to 49, and before the World Cup is over, get to his 50th ODI 100. A lot to look forward to.